girl who was loved by everyone, especially her grandmother. Her grandmother gave her a red velvet cloak with a hood on it, and the little girl wore it every day because she loved it. And so everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. On one day... Come! The Little Red Riding Hood! Come here! Here you pass a case out of wine. Take them your grandmother. She is thick and quick, and they don't make... They will make his chung, her stronger again. And uh, behind yourself on the way, don't leave the path. And uh, or your mind from down and and break the glass. Uh, and then we then we'll not think to stick grandmother. Okay, mom, I will go right away. Go. Little Red Riding Hood promised to obey her mother. The grandmother lived out in the woods a half hour from the village. When Little Red Riding Hood entered the woods, a wolf came up to her. She did not know what a wicked animal he was and was not afraid of him. Good day to you. Thank you. Where you going early, Little Red Riding Hood? To grandmother. What are you carrying in your packet? My grandmother is sick and quit. I'm taking her some cake and wine. We back yesterday. They will they should give her strength. Little Red Riding Hood, where do your mother grandmother live? Her house is a good place. house here in the wood. There's a up under under tree our tree. There's a her house. There, you should know the place. However, you seen a beautiful flower with blossom in the woods. When I'm you we and she tries she in, I can believe you can hear how the bird is singing. It's very beautiful in the woods. Little Red Riding Hood opened her eyes and saw the sunlight breaking through the trees and how the ground was covered with beautiful flowers. She thought, if I take a bouquet to Grandmother, she will be very pleased. Anyway, it is still early and I'll be home on time. And she ran off into the woods looking for flowers. Each time she picked one, she thought that she could see an even more beautiful one a little way off, and she ran after it going further and further into the woods. But the wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house and knocked on the door. Who's there? Little Red Riding Hood, I ran some cake and wine for you. Just open the door for me, please. Come in, my dears. The door is open. I'm too weak to get up. The wolf pressed the latch and the door opened. He stepped inside, went straight to the grandmother's bed, and ate her up. Then he took her clothes and put them on, and put her cap on his head. He got into her bed and pulled the curtains shut. Little Red Riding Hood had run after flowers and did not continue on her way to grandmother's until she had gathered all that she could carry. When she arrived, she found to her surprise that the door was open. She walked into the parlor, and everything looked so strange that she thought, Oh my God, why am I so afraid? I usually like it at Grandmother's. Then she went to the bed and pulled back the curtains. Grandmother was lying there with her cap pulled down over her face and looking very strange. Grandmother, what big ear you have? I'm better to hear you with. Oh, Grandmother, what big eye you have? I'm better to see you with. Oh, Grandmother, what big hand you have? I'm better to wrap you with. Oh, Grandmother, what heavenly mouth you have? I'm better to eat you with. Ah! And with that, he jumped out of bed, 
jumped on top of poor little Red Riding Hood and ate her up. As soon as the wolf had finished his tasty bite, he climbed back into bed, fell asleep, and began to snore very loudly. Just then, a huntsman was passing by the house. Oh, I wonder if the old lady who live here and see a big buff wolf I looking for. Oh, the door is open, and who is noising so loudly? It is a wolf, and look like him eating the grandmother. But perhaps she can, she still can be sell, and I won't stop him now. The huntsman took sword and cut open his stomach. He had cut only a few strokes when he saw the red cap shining through. He cut a little more, and the girl jumped out and cried. Oh, I was so frightened! It was so dark inside the gun body. And then the grandmother came out alive as well. Then Little Red Riding Hood fetched some large, heavy stones. They filled the wolf's body with them, and when he woke up and tried to run away, the stones were so heavy that he fell down dead. The three of them were happy. The huntsman took the wolf's pelt, the grandmother ate the cake and drank the wine that Little Red Riding Hood had brought, and Little Red Riding Hood thought to herself, As long as I play, I will never play the best and run up into the wound by myself if my mother tells me not to.